Hello, boys and girls. I have another special story that I'd like to share with you. It's called Whoever You Are, and it's written by Mem Fox, one of my favorite authors. It's a story about children, just like you, who live in other places. Um, the world's a very big place, and there are children who are so much like you that live all over the world in different countries. Some of them look a little bit different. They might have a different color of skin. They might wear different clothes. They might speak different languages, which I think is pretty cool myself. Um, they might eat different food, but we all have one thing in common. And a lot of them are stuck at home, just like you are right now, um, trying to keep people in the world healthy and safe, doing what we all have to do right now. But it's a story about how we're all alike inside. Whoever You Are by Mem Fox. Little one, whoever you are. Wherever you are. There are little ones just like you all over the world. Their skin may be different from yours, and their homes may be different from yours. Their schools may be different from yours. And their lands may be different from yours. Their lives may be different from yours. And their words may be very different from yours. But inside, their hearts are just like yours. Whoever they are, wherever they are, all over the world. Their smiles are like yours. And they laugh just like you. Their hurts are just like yours. And they cry like you too. Whoever they are, wherever they are, all over the world. Little one, when you are older and when you are grown, you may be different. And they may be different wherever you are, wherever they are in this big, wide world. But remember this. Joys are just the same and love is just the same. Pain is the same and blood is the same.
Smiles are the same and hearts are just the same wherever they are, wherever you are, wherever we are. All over the world. When you go to bed tonight, I want you to think about how many children are maybe struggling a little bit, just like you are tired of being at home and tired of not being able to go to school. And maybe they're tired of their parents and their brothers and sisters, but they're doing what they have to do all over the world. If you ever have the opportunity to meet someone from another country, maybe from the other side of the world, I hope that you will make friends with them because you can learn so much about how they live their lives, the kind of clothes they wear, the food they eat, um, what their families are like, what their customs are. And I bet that you will learn that you are way more alike than you are different because what's inside your needs, your wants, your loves, they're all the same. Everybody all over the world needs to have friends and needs to be loved and cared for just like you. So take a minute, say a prayer for somebody on the other side of the world, maybe somebody you've never met yet. And remember that all over the world, we are the same. Good night.